lovely humans, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. I am back with another Owl House reaction. I feel like these videos are coming out so fast. Like I feel like I've been doing so much Owl House content like so quickly and it's making me really anxious because like it further proves that the show's gonna be ending soon and it's making me sad, but I am excited. Um, Again, thank you to everyone who joined my live stream chat with my friend 16 Bit Steven. We had so much fun theorizing with you guys about the future episodes. It was super fun, and we're probably gonna be making more of these videos because we had a blast. You guys seem to have fun, so thank you again for the support. It feels really good to be doing some lives for once. That's obviously not something that I usually do, so I really like it. I dig the feel of it. So thanks again for hanging out. Um, yes, today I'm watching Watching, reaching out. I've heard rumors that this is a loose and amity episode, so that's exciting as always. And for my kawaii item of the day, so these are really fun and I haven't opened them yet. These are earrings I'm gonna show you guys. I know, that's so random. Like, usually I show you like a cute little character, but these are earrings from this ice cream shop. It's in New York on the Upper East Side. It's called UES. Probably stands for the Upper East Side, right? Um, and it's an ice cream shop that also is like a speakeasy. So if you go in the basement, it's like a bar. And they also have jewelry that they sell there in art. So it's kind of like a mix of everything and it's super fun. So I got these earrings and they're so fun. I haven't worn them yet. So I thought, why don't I show them to you guys? Okay, <laughs> tell me how cute you think these are. They're little cookies and milk earrings. It's like strawberry milk with the chocolate chip cookie. And if you look really close, the chocolate chips are rhinestones. I was like, I couldn't get over that. It was the cutest thing I've ever seen. So I can't wait to wear them. I just wanted to show them to you today because I think they're pretty adorable. All right, so without further ado, let's start the episode. I wonder what's gonna happen. We'll find out soon. Oh, someone's phone's going off. Is this the other loose? Oh no, this is our loose. I saw pictures of her mom. I was like, event with, oh, she has an event with her mom? Loose, no. I feel so bad for her. So they're gonna touch on the thing with her mom in this episode. I mean, I guess like we haven't revisited that yet. So that'll be interesting. Do, 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 do. I still want to know whose hand that is that like grabs the characters. Could it be a preview of a Titan? It might be, it kind of looks like it would be, right? The Owl House. I love this show. Looks so cute in her PJs. What is Luz doing? Oh, she has her cool diamond, her diamond pants on. I love those pants that she wears. Very ambitious, Luz. Jeez. Francois? I didn't know the bunny, the stuffed bunny's name was Francois. Has King said that before? If he has, I'm sorry. <laughs> That'll work great when birds try to fly away with me. I love you, King. Hootie, what are you doing? Oh, he's trying to build up the portal door. <laughs> Pentagram, they talk about Pentagram so much in this season. Oh. She is reaching out to Hunter. Wait, what's his name? Roller Z Reach for what? That's an interesting. <laughs> Leave me alone. Look at all the emojis she sent. Oh, it's this little sleeping talisman. Wrong person. Who was that picture for? Who is Hunter talking to? Is he flirting with someone? That's the only time you send people your cute pads. Just saying. Who were you texting, Hunter? Oh. What's the ritual? I want to know about it. Poor Luz. I mean, she's like been apart from her mom for so long now. I feel so bad. Edith's bunny slippers are everything. They even have stains on them. She's like, I don't care. They mean a lot to me. Reminds me of this one pair of pajama shorts I have that I've been wearing since I was like 13 and I still wear them. I can't throw them away. They're like stretched out and super old, but they're so special. So I get it, Ida. I get it. I'm Bonesboro Brawl. Amity's dad, there he is. Mittens, that's the cutest nickname. Oh, her mom already signed her up for coven tryouts? Oh, her dad was in the brawl? What is that exactly? 
Hmm. Okay, interesting. I'm really curious about her dad's past. Hmm. What's embarrassing? Oh! What is that? Why is he dressed like that? Okay. What is this brawl? It's like a, like, um, like a fight club kind of thing, I guess? So her dad used to be a little bit of a rebel back in the day? Okay. Oh, her dad was famous. So Amity would rather do something like that. So she's gonna ditch. Oh boy, she's gonna get in a lot of trouble with her mom. Whoa, she could like, order the abomination and do stuff like that? Mm. I got you, boo. They're so cute. Oh, here they are, Amity siblings. Oh, of course they're gonna support it. <laughs> Concealment stone. What is that? Oh, it changes your outfit? What? What's a concealment stone? Whoa. Um, Amity looks so cool. She does look so pretty, I agree, Liz. I love that outfit on her. Amity, yes, girl, love the glasses and the dress. Wait, so there's actually stones that can change your whole outfit? Okay, I want that to be my power. If I was in this world, I would want that power. I would have all the face glitter with corresponding outfits to match. I would just be like a fashionista witch with like rainbow powers if I lived in this world. Should I make my like Owl House persona? I'm kind of like tempted now. Oh, Edith's trying to find out of the day of unity. Of course, we all want to know what that even is. Sounds terrifying, whatever it is. Oh no. Don't mess with Ida. <laughs> Watch the goods. Ida. Hmm. Oh, she's gonna find out what the say of unity is. I really hope you do, Ida, because I wanna know too. Whoa, this looks kind of scary. Amity, are you sure you wanna do this? It looks a little intimidating. I mean, I get it because her dad did it, so it must have been like a really cool, rebellious, unconventional thing to do. But I'd be a little nervous, personally. He's pretty scary. Oh. Scab the all-knowing. The Mighty Bins! I love it! Amity looks so cute. I love that name for her. I guess, oh, I guess like her, her brother and sister are like in disguise, I guess, because they don't want to be seen there, I guess. Amity's outfit is so awesome. I love how she's keeping it classy, even though she's fighting. Nice, Amity. So you just battle with witch powers, that's all it is. Oh no, what's wrong with Luce? Oh, she keeps thinking about the event. What is this tradition she had with her mom? I wanna know. Oh, Luce is feeling guilty too. Luce, you're gonna fight just to distract yourself from that? I don't know if that's a good idea. Cause you're gonna be going against each other. Yeah, but then you two might have to fight at the end. Oh. Aw, I love, Amity's always blushing around Luce. It's so cute. He's so cute. Is that like his little pet or is it his palisman? I guess it's his palisman. <laughs> Mittens. That's such a cute nickname. I love that her nickname is Mittens. It's adorable. Hmm. What is that? That's clearly a trap. That's clearly a trap. Ida, seriously? Oh, she's... <laughs> Oh, she's trying to make the potion, so she's trying to catch badgers. I get it. Oh, nice. 
Is this our first time meeting? Um. <laughs> he knows, oh, why is he so down on himself? Edric, Edric, Edric. <laughs> oh, she's gonna get Edric's help? Okay, okay. This is an interesting connection to see. You can help Edric. Why are you feeling so insecure in this episode? I thought he was like really confident in the last season. Like I remember his personality being different. Am I like totally wrong? Ugh, he's huge. Last minute entry, Luz. Whoa, what an entrance. Luz, you look cool. Her hair looks different. Ambie's like, <gasps> Luz looks cool with her hair like that. I like it. Be careful though, Luz. Eek. Oh no. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> awesome, damn, she's a natural. I love the jersey look on Luz too. I love both of their outfits in this episode. Oh. Meanwhile, they're catching, it's so cute, the little badger. Oh my gosh, why is it so adorable looking? Whoa, okay, be careful, Amity. Nice. Seriously, guys, do, do you agree that Amity and Luz are both becoming like so, so powerful this season? Like, it's crazy. Each time they fight, it's more, is that literally a tooth fairy? <laughs> it's literally a tooth fairy. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, they need to fairy spit. Oh, wow. That was surprising. I didn't think she'd be so intimidating. She looks like an old lady. Okay. Well, Luce is a natural. But, but, this might upset Amity because this was supposed to be like her thing. <laughs> oh, Idrick wants to know about the Blabber Serum. I guess that's a pretty cool potion to get somebody to tell you anything. Aw, Edric. I feel for you. I like that they're kind of becoming friends a little bit, Edric and Ida. And King. Amity's not okay with this. Oh no. Oh no, she's hurt. Oh, I love how Amity's big sister is being there for her and supporting her through this and protecting her. Luz, this is not a healthy distraction. I'm sorry, I hate to break it to you, girl, but it's not a healthy distraction. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, what's happening? What is going on with that abomination? Jeez, Luz, calm down. Oh. Uh-oh. Luz is losing it. Uh, it's her way to like deal with this thing with her mom though. Like, I feel like she's burying this, you know? Like she doesn't want to think about it. Which makes sense, because when something's really emotionally traumatizing for you, sometimes it's easier to distract yourself with other things to feel like everything's fine, when deep down, you don't feel fine. I get it. Not the healthiest thing to do, but... Whoa, he is intimidating. Oh my goodness, okay. Huh. Yeah, Amity and Luz are so impressed. They're like, yeah, right, whatever. The warden. Is that her dad? Knew it. I knew he was gonna show up. I knew it. I had a feeling. <gasps> He's making her forfeit. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, Minnie is in trouble. Oh no. Hmm. 
things, you gotta tell her. This is like the same thing that happened in the last episode. Is she gonna not be able to open up to Amity about this? Well, it is probably like the deepest thing she's struggling with. Yes, Amity's dad, wow. <laughs> oh. He's clearly still the champ. What a boss! Love it. Ugh. Ooh. Oh no. <gasps> Amity, you're... What? What did she just do? She disappeared? Where'd she go? I have a feeling this isn't gonna be a good thing. Yeah, probably not. That doesn't look like a good thing. Usually when something's green, you're not supposed to drink it. Unless it's like a spinach and kale smoothie or something, but you guys know what I mean. <laughs> like poison. Her glasses are left behind. Where did she go though? What is that spell? I've never seen her. Oh, she just kind of um transported over there. Are they finally gonna have a heart to heart about what's going on with Luz? This is such a beautiful scene. Like, it's so pretty. I love the aesthetic, like the petals falling. Mm, yeah, she wanted to connect with her dad. Mm. Yeah, Amity knows she, Luce is struggling with like emotional stuff. Mm. You gotta open up to her. If she's your girlfriend. triggered something in her. Lose. Oh, Amity's not gonna go. <laughs> oh my god. Guys, I can't handle this. I was like, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Like, for Luce to open up about that. And now we know about her dad, that he, that he passed away. I can't... <sighs> this is getting intense, guys. It's getting a little too intense. Something cold? Luce, what are you gonna do? Luce, what are you gonna do? I don't... Mm. Of course she's gonna... Of course she's gonna listen, Luce. She loves you. Damn, Luce is so cool though. They're all teaming together. What are you doing, Amity? Nice! Nice, nice, nice. I love seeing them team up. This is so awesome. What is Luz gonna do, though? You're throwing all of them? All the glyphs? Whoa. That was amazing. <laughs> Ina's really getting a hold on her harpy form. I love seeing that. She's more in control of it, and I like that a lot. 
definitely like that for her. Cause I, mm -hmm. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, she's really going for it. <laughs> Does he really not know? What? <laughs> he stole their lunches? Why? What if, with the tight end? Hmm, okay. Wild or not. Okay, so a lot of them think all together, it's gonna reunite them with the Titan, and they think all together it's gonna be a really bad thing. I mean, for, for wild magic witches or not, that's interesting. I mean, I kinda already figured it would be a really bad thing, but. Oof. Maybe eat bad girl coven. <laughs> I want that t-shirt. Does that t-shirt exist? Because I need it. Hmm. Wow, Amity's really damn, she's mmm. Mm. Oh, Amity. She's really taking a stand and coming into her own and growing up, and I love seeing that for her. colored oh her dad that's so cute oh see I always knew Ambie's dad was more understanding oh but that's so hard for Luz because it's because she doesn't have her dad anymore that's why it triggered her but she didn't want to put all of that on Amity is she gonna grow flowers for her Beautiful. Uh, oh, they're gonna send them in a oh an abomination balloon. Oh, that's so sweet. Hmm. They'll reach the human realm. Wow, what beautiful character growth for their relationship. Are they gonna reach the human realm? Like seriously? That's how they reached the human realm. She felt it. Her mom felt it. Oh my god, what an amazing episode, guys. I have so many feelings. Like, I can't... I'm still trying to, like, recover from them right now. Because I, like... That whole scene with Luz really... That's so tough. Like, that's so heavy. I can't believe we know now about what really happened with her dad. And... I feel like this show did such a beautiful job of showing how like sometimes those heavy feelings are things that we bury deep down and Luz finally feeling like Amity was someone she could confide in about that and Amity was so beautiful and Amity being so supportive and gentle and just listening to her was such a beautiful moment and I just I loved seeing that for both of them so much like and the episode had a lot of action um the themes with Amity and her dad tied into what was going on with Luz and honestly, like we got a lot of Ida and King. That would have been one of my favorite episodes so far for the second half of this season. It had everything and I really, really liked it. Like I, I feel like I'm always gonna remember this episode, to be honest with you guys. Like it might be one of my favorites in the whole show, to be honest. Um, you know me, I like the emotional stuff. So um, uh, I feel like I'm gonna have to go cry now. So um, bye guys, I'll see you next time. <laughs>